so I'm constantly hearing things about satellites orbiting the planet and how else would we get communication and blah, blah, blah. Look on a mask with my boy. Well, it's very simple, all right? 90 plus percent of our communication is done through underwater sea cables and cell towers, okay? It's a ground positioning system, not global positioning system. Maybe in the next life. Other technologies, such as hail, which are high altitude, long endurance planes, are how we reach hard to reach areas for certain communication that the basic cell towers and cables cannot reach. Oh, you can smell the shit from five miles away. Another thing I'm constantly hearing is, you know, if the earth was flat, you know, you know where's the edge? You know, how, how would there be circumnavigation on a, on, a, on a level plane? Please, accept the mystery. What would only be possible on a ball is north-south circumnavigation, which has never been done. Ne never. I've got some bad news. If you go around a pond, okay, you've circumnavigated the pond. It doesn't make the pond a ball, okay? It's not, <laughs> that's not how it works, guys. I am very, very worried about you. Why? You're acting like, why? What am I acting like? All right, next thing, man. Eclipses. I keep seeing that eclipses can only happen on a ball. And, you know, there's no other way. It's, you know, they only happen when the Earth is in between the sun and the moon in a perfect syzygy. What? In a perfect syzygy. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. No, all right. That's, it's, that doesn't even make sense, okay? Second off, what about a Seleninian eclipse? A what? Seleninian eclipse. Nice, very nice. Where both the sun and moon are both above the horizon, okay? The, it takes the earth completely out of the equation, all right? Doesn't make any sense. Why not, you stupid bastard? All right, so I wanted to touch on this whole geocentrism awakening, this flat earth movement, okay? That great idea. I keep hearing... You know, flat earthers don't even have a model. They don't even know what their model is. They can't even make their mind up on a model. I think you're right. There's no model, my man, okay? I don't blame you. Damn good deal. The entire movement is about proving through science, observable, testable, repeatable, measurable science. I'm so grateful. For science! That we are not a spinning ball in a vacuum. <laughs> oh, nice. That's it. There's no, there's no model. We're not at that point, you know? You guys have to get off that. Squid's taking it real hard. <laughs>